All right, so welcome back to another video. As you can see, we're doing a voiceover and I have not done a full video voiceover before, but this is a video that I just did not want to have to get rid of. I was trying out the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and the primer and some other products that were sent to me. And I'm quite mortified that I thought my camera was on and it, excuse me, that I thought my microphone was on and it wasn't. So here we have a voiceover and I'm going to narrate what I can for you as we go through the video. So I know that I was explaining here that this is obviously a very hydrating bundle of products and I have what looks like a blush but I later realized is a highlighter. And so we have the primer, we've got concealer, we've got the foundation here and then like I said this I thought was a blush but it's actually a highlighter you'll see and then there's a luminous type of setting powder for the face so first starting off by priming my lips you know that that's always important I can't stand that the lip primer is sold out but I still have a bunch of them hence why I continue to use them so starting off with this luminous silk primer and I really did enjoy this especially since it, the weather is a lot cooler outside and my skin is feeling really dry so I've used this quite a few times after filming this video because it feels really good to me it actually feels like skincare as opposed to some sort of primer to use before makeup I'm showing you here that I have been using the super goop SPF 50 product to add hydration to my face before makeup but I do like this one now it is pricey obviously so if you're looking for something that's luxurious and hydrating this is a good option I'm making these faces to just see how it made my skin feel and it felt very flexible and the skin around my face is dry when I make those faces it feels tight like it's pulling so now here we go with the swatch and I was a little bit concerned that this is really warm more warm than I would like for my foundation but you know me I'll make it work and it actually does all come together at the end it was just feeling a little bit crazy in the beginning because there are foundations that i put on that match my skin exactly there are foundations that i put on that are going to be darker than my skin and then this one is just more warm than i would like but once the whole face comes together it does look really good this foundation is so hydrating it almost feels like a gel it was odd i couldn't explain it but i really was enjoying it i'm using the morphe e63 brush here to apply it and I just love how it was looking. You have to comment below and let me know what you think about how this looks so far. And also if you've used this foundation, I'm late to the game. I understand that. I don't know why I'm this late, but I'm this late to the game. And like I said, Armani Beauty sent this to me. I do appreciate it. I've been enjoying it. So now I'm applying the concealer and this is a lot lighter than I would like. Okay, as you can see, <laughs> uh, yes, very cool. Cool. okay giving beige but certainly I have my damp makeup sponge linking all of this below making sure that I'm getting all the excess water that could be left over out before I blend this in I wish I had a different shade of concealer but because of the level of coverage it really as you can see blended in nicely I was quite shocked it's a natural finished type of concealer so it's not full coverage meaning although this was extremely light you can see here that it blended in with the foundation now I don't like a natural finish concealer I like full coverage concealer so if you're into a natural look this foundation is definitely something you want to consider natural and unhydrated natural usually does mean hydrating too and if you're looking for a natural looking hydrating concealer this is a good one but we're still applying it because here we are right but the, the shade is just not my first pick and the level of coverage isn't either and I always like to highlight under my cheek it just gives that extra oomph to the cheekbones and of course highlighting down the middle of my face is key I blend the forehead first and then I go down the middle of my nose pinching the makeup sponge and then above the lip and the chin as you can see and now I'm setting under my eye with the Fenty Beauty honey pro filter powder because I didn't have a new product from Armani Beauty to use and now with this powder because it is warm more like on the orange end of the spectrum my hope was that it was going to help bring some color to the concealer because it felt very beige very light and it did a little bit so there's that for the contour I mean trying to bring the warmth into this because like how possible just you know 
really kind of scary, but just really trying to bring some warmth to my face so that it doesn't feel so light. And this did help to do that. This is the Fenty Toffee Tees Contour product that I usually use. Now what I did was I forgot. I was so thrown off by the whole thing because it's not something that I normally do that I forgot <laughs> that I like to set my under eye after I have applied my contour. So there was a confusion here. I'm like, what is going on? So I needed to blend out the contour and fix it, but it all worked out. We figured it out. And now I'm setting under my cheekbone and really everywhere that I have the concealer, the highlight concealer is where I am setting. And now with this product right here, again, when I first looked at it, I was like, is this a pink blush? Like what is going on? And then I put it onto my hand and realized that it's actually a highlighter with a pink tint to it. Now it's not gonna take the place of my favorite tried and true Rare Beauty Luminizer in the color Flaunt, but I did wanna give it a shot. Like here I'm rubbing it in, I'm like, oh, this is not a blush. It's a highlighter with a pink tint. And the thing about the contour, I did set it with the LYS Worthy Deep Bronzer, which did give my face some more shade to it and it does look a lot more pronounced than usual but overall i think it looks really really good now this powder honey i was like is this a bronze like it looked very bronze to me but i was dedicated i was dedicated i was committed to using it to really seeing what's going on I'm taking this juvia's paid powder brush to apply it because i didn't want to blend in any excess powder that's on my other brush i really wanted to see it firsthand i don't know why these brushes come underneath these powders i would never use that like comment below and let me know would you ever use that mini brush? I would not. Now, I was a little bit concerned right here. I was like, oh, okay, uh, what is going on? Again, is this a bronzer? Like, is there frost? Is there shimmer in this? What is happening? But as I continued to apply it, I was like, oh, hold on. This is actually, we're actually getting somewhere. This actually looks really, really good. And I've used this a few times after filming the video and I'm really, really pleased. I was a little concerned. It's not matte like my face powders usually are. I was a little concerned. And so now here we are applying the highlighter, okay? Yeah, just a little bit, just a little bit confused, you know, a little bit confused, but I did decide to use it with my makeup sponge, which is what I normally do because I wanted to keep my routine as much as normal as I could. So taking the back of the sponge and then I'm applying it where I normally do. And it's very light. Again, the whole line that I received is a natural type of theme. So the highlighter is not giving rare beauty. It's not supposed to. So if you're someone that likes a natural looking beat, then again, all these products would be great for you because you're gonna be, when you finish off, you're gonna look dewy and luminous and youthful for sure. I pulled out this purple one and at first I was like, whoa, this is gonna be too dark. But turns out that once you blend it with a damp sponge and then put it onto the face, as you can see, it's not very dark. It's very, very natural. So it went with the theme, but certainly it's not gonna be, it's not gonna give me the kind of coverage that I would want say if I had like a smoky eye on or something bold, a bold eye look on, it wouldn't work for me. But for this natural soft look, I think it looked really good. And you know, I like to do my eyebrows with the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Cheat in the color Natural, doing that obviously in a second. I love this Revlon eyeliner. I made a little bit of a mistake. Okay, so here I, I stopped and I'm shocked and breathing because I realized that my mic was not on. And I felt so defeated. I wanted to I wanted to scrap the whole video. I wanted to cry, look at my face. I wanted to cry. But I said, you know what, not again. Not again am I going to record a video and have to trash the whole thing. Wow, I just realized that my microphone has not been on this whole time. I'm horrified. I am about sick and tired of this happening to me. And I am posting this video anyway, because I'm not, I, wow, like, <sighs> wow.
I'm so annoyed. I was so annoyed. I said I'm not putting on my um, lashes today. That's how annoyed I am. <laughs> you know, I always do lashes, but I'm so annoyed that I'm not putting on lashes today. <sighs> okay. Bottom lashes, lawless, one and done. It's fantastic. It's the best. Oh my God. Above my eyelid. Why am I seeing the creasing? Oh my God. Wow, this is the video from hell. This is insane. I'm sitting here like, yo, this face looks mad different or whatever. And I'm trying to wrap it up, but it's not wrapping up at all. This is a nightmare. <laughs> oh my God. I am so thrown off right now. What is this about? How am I supposed to do my eyebrows and not even highlight my eyebrows? And I'm looking like my eyelid looks real dumb right now because I didn't put any product on it. And I didn't even highlight my eyebrows. NARS Soft Matte. This is insanity. Wow. And this is going to make such a difference in this makeup look. I cannot believe this. This was very much all over the place, which is even more reason why I'm not doing this again. You're going to get it just like this. This is the reality. Wow. I am through. Wow. I am so through. <laughs> Okay, let me blend this out because this is an atrocity. And, oh, what brush am I using? I don't even know. Why is this video going like this? Watch, this is the kind of video y'all gonna be like, oh my God, we love it. This is amazing. This is my favorite video. <laughs> The one I can't see, y'all gonna be like, oh, this is amazing. This is your best look yet. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. All right. I did my eyeliner. I did all that already. What we doing? Okay. I'm using Makeup by Mario Ultra Suede Lipstick in the color Garth. And we just going oh no. <laughs> it's too light to put on the outer part of my lip. What in tarnation. <sighs> Okay, we are already here. So let's put Garth all over the lip. This is something I would not do. This color is gorgeous. I would not do this because it washes me out, completely washes out my face. This is just a no for me. However, wow, it looks like my skin. This is gorgeous. Have you tried these lippies out? Let me know. This is a gorgeous color, but just, yeah. So let me use, what, what is it? Okay, let me just take this NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner. And this is the color, oh, I think this is kind of purple. That's not what I wanted, whatever. We are here. This is a lot going on right now. Club Hoppa. Okay, we need to darken up the outside because we need some dimension in these lips, okay? Oop, I'm wiping off the sides and then going along the bottom here. Wiping off the sides. See? It needs some dimension. Now it's still very light. Like I would not just wear this like this. You guys like what? So to lighten up the middle of my lip, because you know, I love an ombre. I'm taking Maybelline matte, this whole situation. Okay. The colors poet, these names, I just became too confused. It's just too much. Okay. The colors poet. Right here in the middle. Make sure you blend it into the wrinkles of your lip. That's why I'm doing it again and again. Don't just go like this and then leave it. Cause then when you smile, you're gonna see lines. Blend it into the creases, like inside the creases of your lip and then rest your mouth so that it's just fits everywhere. This combo looking real good or whatever. <laughs> Come and let me know what it is. And then I feel like doing a gloss. I don't do gloss often enough. Let me do a good old gloss for the kids today. This is Fenty Beauty Baby Brute Gloss Bomb. This was in a trio, wasn't it? This is juicy. Ooh, I gotta go. Ooh, yo, hi. Oh, this is like string cheese. <laughs> Hi, hello, how are you? Hey, mm. oh, it smells so yum. Oh yeah, I can't wear these Fenty glosses by themselves. Just no way with my lips, but mm, mm, mm. oh, I took a lot. Okay. <laughs> 
Get inside the middle, honey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't want to have string cheese when you're talking, okay? Oh, praises be to Jehovah himself, girl. This was a lot, you know, we made it. Ooh, not the tangles. You know, we did come through. We came to the end and this is what we got. I do feel pretty. I do like the coverage. I feel better because I figured out what was wrong with my eyebrows. I fixed that. The mic is on and praise Jehovah. The face looks really good. I'm irritated that I had to do the voiceover, but wow, I'm liking how this lip came out. I was a little bit, hold on. I was a little bit like, mm, but the side, but let me bring her back. I like how the combo came together. I'm also not wearing lashes today. This is a little unusual, but what do you think about this look? Comment and let me know, girl. It's been, it's been a wild ride for this whole video. Okay, quick update on this Armani Luminous Silk Concealer. I don't like it, it's creasing. Do you see this? I normally do not experience this with concealer and it has happened, I don't like it. Just update on that. Big is off, but I had to update you on that. It's been a wild ride, but you've been a part of it and I appreciate that, okay? Give this video a thumbs up because your girl was struggling, but we made it through, okay? Also follow me on Instagram, subscribe here. A lot of y'all watching the videos and ain't subscribing. That's mad tri trifling, that's mad trifling. I'm calling you trifling, that's what I'm doing. I am, I have to, I gotta call you out. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe. All right, thanks for watching my video. I'll see you in the next one, bye.